Dear friends, dear colleagues, welcome back to the Essential of Digital Dentistry. In the previous videos we talked about 3D printing of zirconia, now we show you one uh, feasible uh, clinical application of this uh, printing technology and we will talk in particular not only about zirconia but in this case about lithium desilicate. Uh, digital dentistry is based on four steps for uh, different level data acquisition, data elaboration, the production and the clinical application. In this series of videos we talk about the production, so we talk about make on the making or the shaping of depending on the machine we use because milling unit shape and 3D printers make as well as SLS and SLM machine. In this case we talk about a 3D printer for zirconia and lithium desilicate and the machine is this one, the Sierra Fab C65 um, by the Litos, an Austrian company that is really one of the most important company in this field in both in the medical and in the dental field because they are capable through this process, the proprietary process called and named lithography based ceramic manufacturing LCM to manufacture to fabricate, to produce restorations already in uh, zirconia and lithium desilicate 3D printed using the visible light. In particular, in this case, uh, they use a visible blue LED light and the process is like called the 3D printing process based on a layer by layer curing of a ceramic suspension. In this case, the ceramic suspension for the zirconia is called Litacorn 3Y210 and consists of a 3% molar yttria stabilized zirconia ceramic powder with photocurable resin and additive. Uh, for the lithium desilicate, the product is another and we will see the application. But uh, basically the whole uh, process is based on um, um, the crown, in this case of the restoration, the bridge uh, the file is split into layer by the computer and then these layers are projected layer by layer onto a ceramic suspension. This ceramic suspension is then hardened and cured with, by photopolymerization and it forms the so-called green body. Uh, so the green body consists of a shape giving polymer like a network and zirconia particle fixed and embedded within. And after 3D printing, the green bodies undergo a post-treatment. They are first cleaned in order to remove the excess of material in specific station and then sintered. And the sinterization uh, takes us to pure zirconio oxide uh, through a, a thermal post-processing and sintering process in a very high temperature for NACE, uh, 1450. Um, Celsius and uh, basically what we, we can obtain is a, a density of more than 99.4-99.6% uh, both with the zirconia and with the lithium desilicate. So the sinterization is key in order to remove all the resin and to keep only the ceramics and to have a compact ceramics quite dense with only a very few and limited pores of a limited dimension. This is the machine, the machine is produced by the Litos company, the characteristic of the machine are enlisted here, <laughs> obviously it's a machine that is a game changer in the field of 3D printing of zirconia both for the medical than for the dental field and dental application. If we watch the uh, characteristic of the ceramic suspension here for the, for the zirconia, for example, in this case the Lita Contra Y. On this table, we see that it can grant a density that is more after the decentralization process, more than 99.6%, uh, with a surface roughness that is less than one micron, and uh, a four point bending strength of 935 megapascal. If we watch the scanning electron microscopy, we see a very high density with very low porosity, and we see the, also the layers and the, the layer um, are visible in, in the scanning electron microscopy. Obviously, uh, recent studies have demonstrated that we need to control this porosity and reduce this porosity at minimum in order to grant mechanical reliability, but um, all the mechanical study on this material, both the studies on the only axial compression, both the study on variable uh, analysis fracture resistance revealed excellent mechanical properties. And if we go to the workflow, so if you go clinical with a full digital workflow, I will show you a, a workflow with a 3D printed lithium desilicate monolithic crown in a very, I mean, simple case, everyday case that we can perform in our clinic. 
and it's a guided surgery case. So the patient comes for the first appointment. In the first appointment, we, the patient undergoes a CBCT because we need to see the bone and an intraoral scan because we need to see very well and reconstruct very well the teeth and the gingiva, so the soft tissues. After it, there's a long planning section uh, with a virtual waxing, preparation of the model, 3D implant planning inside the surgical uh, uh, software the STL extraction and then the surgical guides is designed outside of the implant planning software because we want to design it in our way with peculiar characteristics and then this guide is laser sintered so in this case 3D printed with a laser sintering machine the model as well as 3D printed in resin then the, the guide is checked on the model if it checked very well and it checked in all cases in all cases we, we check it, it fits perfectly the stability is excellent then we can call the patient for the second appointment, that is surgery, actually. So the second appointment is already the appointment for the surgery. So the first step is, first appointment, we take an intraoral scan with the powerful CS3700. We can take the wall, I mean, the wall scan of the arch, but also any arch in, in this case is feasible. It's very important to take, to capture the antagonist arch also because it's key for the waxing. And then the bite, because it's very important, not only the master model with the dentulus site or the dentulus gap. Then we can prepare the model for 3D printing using the computer assisted design software. And we can uh, create a virtual waxing that in this case was derived, derived directly by the previous scan the patient had in, in, in our archive before the patient lost his tooth. So actually the waxing is the previous tooth of the patient that worked very well. And then the combing computer tomography with the CS9300. Uh, I don't suggest to use a full field of view of 5 per 5 centimeter. I prefer 10 per 5, but in this case we use a 5 per 5 because we were very confident about the planning. No uh, scattering, no metal artifact. The patient didn't move during combined computer tomography. We try to uh, limit the radiation dose, keeping it lower, and we try to use a fob, the limited dimension of 5 per 5 centimeter fob. Here we made a previous, I mean, evaluation of the anatomy. Um, we designed the, the nerve in order to see the distances. Uh, here we can see the area where the tooth was extracted. And basically we had the space and we had the thickness of the bone um, in order to place an implant without any problem. So we moved it. The whole project was imported inside this uh, software, SMOP, by Swiss Meda, where the planning was made. And the implant was planned in 30 minutes. And the planning is over a compromise between the volume of the bone available, the anatomy of the bone, and the walks-up because the walks up the whole time drives the planning. And then after it, when we decide where to place our, I mean, implant, we can export the whole set of file in order to design the guide in a third part software, in this case, Mesh Mixer. And so we designed this Hypno Guide, Titanium Guide, and we printed it in four samples, identical each other, but with a different cylinder in polyether ether ketone embedded in for protection of the drill during the preparation of the drill. And here the surgery, the surgery goes very well and very fast. I mean, very little flap is uh, raised and then we can proceed with the preparation of the flap with this uh, drill, normal drill, not a long drill, not a dedicated kit, no stops, no reducer, everything, all the information are embedded inside these guys. And the surgery proceeded so, we placed the implant, um, uh, sutures, uh, and after it, after a period of time, uh, the mucosal collar was exposed after the removal of the healing abutment, a couple of weeks in order to give the, the, the time to gingive and the soft tissue to stabilize. And then we captured the position of the implant by means of the scan bodies with the CS3700. And then we proceeded. This is the scan body. This is uh, the scan body capture with the intraoral scan. And then the, the work of the dental technician inside the ExoCAD software. So the planning the, the, of the, the crown and the planning of the individual hybrid abutment. And the crown was then produced by means of a Serafab CS65 by Lithos, in particular in lithium desilicate. So a monolithic lithium desilicate 3D printed crown. So lithography based ceramic manufacturing, once again, a totally new process is one of the, I mean, most relevant machine in the market, actually. 
And this is the, the final results. The, the individual hybrid abutment was in titanium and zirconium millet. And what we found is that the lithium desilicate crown perfectly fits on the millet zirconia individual hybrid, individual hybrid abutment. So the precision is very high, the level of precision is very high. And also the delivery of the final restoration with a replica first, a trihene, and then the final crown is totally satisfactory from the clinical precision side. So the, 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 the occlusal contacts are perfect, the interproximal contact points are perfect, and the marginal adaptation is perfect. The only things that can be improved a little bit is probably the color, but anyway, the patient was very satisfied by the color, the appearance, the aesthetic appearance, and the, the functional and aesthetic restoration. So everything worked very well. Obviously, the color is something that can be improved using different colors, and uh, there are development in this sense but what i want to show you is that it is possible it is now we don't need to wait a long time in order to do to do to proceed with 3d printing of ceramics in fixed uh, restoration because it is possible now obviously we don't have literature the literature needs to clarify the mechanical reliability of this restoration along the time thank you very much for your kind attention